seven years, Nancy and Christopher have been training in the martial arts together. The only thing separating the two is 30 years of age. But despite the wide age gap, the two share more than a love for karate. They share the same last name. I'm not gonna lie, I was really nervous. <laughs> I thought, um, like every other teenager did, I was kind of, um, not embarrassed, but it would kind of be a little awkward for me. But now, Christopher Chapel's feelings have changed. No longer is he embarrassed about taking karate classes with his mother, Nancy Chapel. The Chapels are one of five mother-son duos at Tierney's Karate in Camillus. But it's really more about the mothers themselves who formed a remarkable bond in their love for the martial arts. They call themselves the Sweat Sisters. And most of them have been training for over six, seven years together. So they've all, you know, built a great bond with one another and became great friends. And that's where we kind of developed the Sweat Sister uh, mindset is because they come in, they all sweat together, and they become sisters in the martial arts as well. The Sweat Sisters have been around. They range in age from 45 to 63. And they all have first, second, or third degree black belts. And they do it as much for fun as for fitness. Studies show martial arts helps fight off the loss of muscle strength and endurance associated with normal aging. It's not like, you know, the hardcore martial arts where you think, you know, hardcore martial arts back in the day was guys between the age of 18 and 25. That's all that it was. But now we have actually more women taking martial arts, not only just for the physical and the, 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 the stress release, but as well as a self-defense aspect to it as well. Learning karate's defensive moves have given Nancy more confidence under her belt. I'm confident and I'm com confident that I could at least handle myself in any kind of situation. Not that I would be, not saying I could get out of anything, but I just think I have a better chance than a lot of people do. Karate has also helped her take charge in her own classroom on the BOSIS campus where she offers training to dental hygienists. I was in orange belt when I started teaching um, in my classroom, teaching dental assisting. And I was just a pushover. Um, but now I've developed quite a backbone, and I am not afraid to tell people what they need to do. With a healthier and stronger backbone, Nancy says karate gives her the physical strength to help her husband, who has multiple sclerosis, in and out of his wheelchair. So it's helped me at home with my husband. Uh, and my son and family and everything I need to do, just as long as I have my hour and a half every day, um, I'm good. And, and it gives me, it, it kind of completes my circle, it keeps me balanced. Christopher says, though he and his mom compete against each other, he concedes she will usually win the battle, both at home and in the dojo. I don't want to hit her, because, you know, I don't want to get grounded for like the next month. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that kind of, it's kind of weird when they make me a fighter. It's a healthy competition, Nancy says, and Christopher agrees. A mother and son in the martial arts, a karate partnership, they say, most parents would fight for. Engaging in karate is a great way for every age group to stay active. In February, two men over the age of 70 received their black belts at Tierney's Karate, proving you're never too old to try something new.